Good evening. This is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from the YouTube channel. The 10 more part series, the week that was Cosmo for Vision Review, the 1989 Cosmo season for week 10 for the games that I played on November 4th, 1989. Game two, we're going to start with number 16, Penn State, beating number 13, West Virginia, 19 to 9. Mike Nears should have used stickums on their hands because Nitty Lions scored all 19 points after West Virginia suffered turnovers. Penn State defense recovered five fumbles from West Virginia, intercepted the pass, sacked quarterback Major Harris four times. The defense for the New Lions fairly well destroyed Mountaineers' offense that had averaged 35 points per game. Penn State linebacker Andre Collins had 15 tackles, forcing two fumbles, blocked extra point, and raced 28 yards with flight punt to set up the field goal. Lions linebacker Mike D. Onofrio burst in for two sacks, four spare fumbles. Penn State tailback Blair Thomas rushed for 150 yards, lifted his career marking rushing to 4,072 yards. He could rave to Rossi, scored 13 points for State as he kicked four field goals, including personal best 49 yard effort. Harris threw for 166 yards and rushed for 135 yards. Virginia, the number 24 team in the country, beat North Carolina State, number 18 team in the country, 20 9. As Cavaliers won key ACC game despite being doubled in first downs, suffering through a miserable passing game by a quarterback, Strong Moore. Virginia cornerback Jason Wallace scored on 40 yard inception, while Moore overcame his inaccuracy to launch a 32 yard touchdown to start the 12th wide receiver Herman Moore. Virginia kicker Jake McCarney stretched his streak to 14 successful field goals when he nailed a pair of three-pointers and were packed with limits to injury by quarterback Shane Montgomery, who nonetheless quickly became school's all-time passing leader, an opening possession that reached the Cavaliers' three-yard line. Excuse me. So, three points on that drive. Did over that procedure on subsequent trip to Virginia's red zone, making a field goal for a 6 nothing lead. Auburn, number 12 team in the country, beat Florida. The number 19 team in the country, 10-7. In closing moments, all quarterback Reggie Slack faced was prospect of driving his Tigers through Gators defenders. Nation's top-rated defense that had been dominant for most of the game. Slack booed throughout, remarkably through, 25-7, 25-yard touchdown pass on fourth down to uncover receiver Shane Watson. Wasden, with 26 seconds left to pull out the victory, Florida had grabbed seven and a half time lead as the tailback Emmett Smith was held to 86 yards, rushing shower 161 yards per game, run average, scored on five yard run. He was unable to cross midfield for more than half a game. Finally, put vital points on the scoreboard on in third quarter and kick a win. Lau, 47 field goal. Illinois. Number eight team in the country beat Iowa 31 to 7. The game of the year that year in 1989 was between Colorado and Nebraska. Colorado was ranked number two, playing Nebraska number three team in the country as Colorado won 27 21. Focus mission of Colorado continued as they won battle of conference on beatings with determined performance. As Darian Hanging, the quarterback for the Buffaloes, led the charge, running for 86 yards and a touchdown. The wide receiver Jeff Campbell made three returns for 108 yards on punt return to set up a pair of touchdowns. Eskers, open scoring. With 51 yards touchdown on screen pass to fullback Ryan Carpenter. Colorado, JJ Fellon again. Soon knotted game at 7 7 with 70 yards to scoring dash. The teams then traded touchdowns again as Campbell's 47 yard punt return. Seth Higgins, one yard touchdown run. Watch, matched by the second touchdown pass by Nebraska quarterback Jerry Godowski. 
12 yard touchdown to 12 yards to wide receiver Morgan Gregory. Kicker Ken Culberston, 49 yard field goal near end of second quarter, gave Buffalo's lead for good at 17 14. Flanagan added another touchdown in third quarter following pass and defense penalty that was first ruled as an interception by Nebraska. Huskers scored again, but then Buffalo's defense blanked them in fourth quarter with Colorado cornerback Dave McConaughey making his own breakup of pass to Wild Zebra John Bostick. It's for Sal, Flanagan said afterwards. We're doing this for Sal. Texas Tech beat Texas. 24 to 17. Air Force beat Army 29 to 3. Brigham Young, number 23 team in the country, beat Oregon 45 to 41. Side Detmer rallied Cougars from a 33 19 deficit during his third touchdown pass, 15 yard effort to receiver Jeff Franson with the 101 left. UIU winning drive went. 90-yard drive to pull out when the Ducks permitted 19 straight points. Trail 38-33 until they answered with quarterback Bill Musgrave's 15-yard touchdown and two-point conversion passes to wide receiver Terry Obi. Now, tailback Derek LaVille rushed for three touchdowns for Oregon, while Musgrave and Detmer combined for two Team passing record of 959 yards. Carolina State Shane Montgomery, Duke Steve Staden had shared O mark of 926 yards since 1987. California beat Arizona 29 28. Finally, Fresno State beat San Jose State 31 30. Spartans paid for late game conservative. Call and blew upset chance as the backup quarterback Ralph Martini led two late touchdown drops as San Jose rallied from a 31 17 deficit down by 31 30. Spartans went for the tie and kick on to the bungle snap with 233 left. Fresno ran out clock to preserve its perfect record down 17 10 at halftime. Bulldog scored three touchdowns in third quarter to rest control of the game. Wide receiver Dwight Pickens' 10 yard run on reverse for ultimately decisive points. Each team enjoyed big returns in the first half as professional kick returner Kelvin Means took a 90 yard kick to set up the Bulldogs' first touchdown and Sports tailback Sheldon Canley, nation's leader in all of the purpose yards, tied game moments later with the winning 97 yard kick return. That includes look at November 4th, 1989, week 10. The games that were played on that day. Let's get into November 6th. Poll. Arizona was number 25, 24, Fresno State, Texas Tech, 23, North Carolina State, 22, Brigham Young, 21, 20, Florida, West Virginia, 19, 18, Virginia, 17, Clemson, 16, Texas A&M, 15, Houston, 14, Pittsburgh, 13, was Penn State. No, 12 was Penn State, and Auburn was the top of number 12 with Penn State. 11, Tennessee, 10, Arkansas. 9, Southern California. 8, Illinois. 7, Miami. Nebraska, 6. 5, Florida State. Miami, 7. Nebraska, 6. 5, Florida State. 4, Alabama. 3, Michigan. 2, Colorado. Number 1, Notre Dame. Top 10, Arkansas. Nine, Southern California, eight, Illinois, seven, Miami, six, Nebraska, five, Florida State, four, Alabama, three, Michigan, two, Colorado, and one, Notre Dame. So that includes the GAT, College Football Review, the 1989 College Football Season, week number 10. The games are played on November 4th, 1989. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the channel. Do reveal this magnitude on Friday. Until then, talk to you soon.